so hello guys in this video we are going to solve this problem so in this problem it is given that consider the equation where this integral is equal to 1 and where a belongs to minus infinity to 0 union 1 to infinity so we have to tell that which options are true for this equation and this is multiple choice so more than one options are correct so you have to tell all the options which are true based on this information so let's see how we can do this first of all you see this integral here we have uh, uh, ln x power half in the numerator and uh, x minus a minus ln x power 3 by 2 whole square in the denominator and the limits for integral are uh, from 1 to uh, e and this integral is equal to 1 so i write that integral here here we have ln x power half in the uh, denominator we have x multiplied by a minus ln x power 3 by 2 whole square and the limit for integral are from 1 to e and this is equal to 1. Uh, now what we can do uh, we can uh, uh, take this a minus ln x power 3 by 2 which is this thing as some variable t then you differentiate both the sides so here we have uh, minus 3 by 2 ln x power half and ln x differentiation is 1 by x here we have dx is equal to dt now you see this uh, ln x power half multiplied by 1 by x we also have here ln x power half and uh, this x so uh, here we have dx so this whole thing we can write in terms of dt and it will come like minus 2 by 3 dt from the previous uh, this thing you can easily see that this uh, minus 3 by 2 goes here and it will come like minus 2 by 3 dt and uh, here this will become like t square and uh, this whole thing will become minus 2 by 3 dt so I write that here. So this is the thing. And now let's see what uh, how these limits are coming. So uh, we assume uh, this thing. So you see the x limits are uh, from 1 to e. So if you put x is equal to 1, then uh, this will become like 0. So a minus 0 is equal to t. And if you put x is equal to e, it will become like a minus 1 is equal to t. So in terms of t, limits are from a to a minus 1. You can easily see that now this integral is simple you can easily do uh, 1 by t square uh, integral is t power minus 1 divided by minus 1 so uh, this will come like 2 by 3 outside because this minus sign and minus sign will cancel and uh, we have 2 by 3 and uh, this limits are from a to a minus 1 so just i put here and And in the problem it is given that uh, this is equal to this one so we can uh, simplify this so you can uh, take the base as a times a minus 1 and this a and a cancel and in the numerator we have 1 so uh, the equation will come in this form so uh, this is the thing and now uh, you can cross multiply and uh, this quadratic equation will come and you can find out the root as uh, uh, minus 3 plus minus root of uh, 9 uh, plus 24 divided by 6. Simply uh, put the formula like this minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 have root this. So I just apply that formula and from here you can get these two values of a that satisfy the initial uh, equation. So the two values of a are this p plus minus root of uh, 33 divided by 6 now you see the option so no a satisfy the above equation it is wrong there are two values of a that satisfy a integer satisfy the above equation no there is no integer uh, the irrational number satisfy the above equation yeah this is option is correct and more than one a satisfy the above equation yeah this is also correct so c is also correct and d is also correct so c and d are the final answer to this problem you can see this is a irrational number and we have more than one number so in this way we can solve this